call the meeting to order. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Thanks for coming, everybody. <clears throat> Enjoying the beautiful weather. Uh, roll call, please. John Boyer. Here. Maureen Boyer. Here. Uh, Mark Bouchard. Here. Hardy Bryson. Here. Christy Hilton. Here. Chris O'Regan. I'm here. Cindy Valentine. Here. All right, we're all here. I'd like to um, make a motion to amend the agenda. Um, add. 1E, the St. Clair County Road Commission um, work order for the Bayview culvert replacement. Support. Got motion to support. Any discussion? Hearing none, all in favor signify by saying aye. 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 Anyone opposed? Okay, motion passes. It's <clears throat> 1E. All right, we have uh, bills payable. I'll entertain them. Uh, Motion. I'll make a motion to see the bills payable for. Maybe I won't. You can just pay them. May 7th, first of all. Uh, for $139,732. Uh, Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Support. Okay, motion support. Any discussion? Hearing none, roll call, please. Maureen Borey? Yes. Mark Bouchard? Here. Artie Bryson? Yes. <clears throat> Christy Hilton? Yes. Chris O'Regan? Yes. Cindy Valentine? Yes. John DeBoyer? Yes. Okay, motion passes. All right, next to the supervisor's report. Um, in a couple weeks now, we had our State of the Community address, and I talked to everybody. I thought it was a pretty good event, and we'll be doing it again, I'm sure. It was uh, put on by the Elgnac, or no, the Anchor Bay Chamber of Commerce, uh, but it was well intended. <clears throat> uh, I've been working with uh, Mid States, who won the bid for the park and the playground project, and um, trying to finalize this, the stages. They're going to start the uh, um, replacing the uh, playground equipment, probably looking in the beginning of August. Um, but we're Still looking at um, finalizing when they they're going to uh, get the all the equipment needed uh, that's uh, on order. But hopefully it'll be the first week of August. Um, the sewer lining rehab project. We were going to open up the bid uh, a couple days ago, but had two contractors actually request if we delayed it a couple weeks. And uh, we looked at it, and we granted that and made an addendum to the bid because um, they just needed more time to uh, go through all the date, data and uh, um, get a, a for their quote. So um, uh, that we're going to open it May 14th then, uh, which is what? Next week. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> um Paving on Fruit Road, Cemetery Road, and Stone Road between High and Sward Out. The, the overlayment's done. Uh, they are, the contract is going to be coming back this next week and um, finishing up with uh, approaches for the driveways. Some of them weren't done. I was hoping they would be here this today, but that didn't happen. Uh, they're supposed to come back this week and finish uh, primarily the one with uh, stone driveways. And um, and uh, finish that part of, of the job. Um, <clears throat> last week I had an opportunity to speak on behalf of uh, Senate Bill 700, submitted by uh, Kevin Har Senator Kevin Hertel, and that um, that bill is concerned with allowing a second DDA. <laughs> Uh, in a municipality, if the municipality is separated by a body of water. And it went very well. The um, intention would be, once this passed, we'd be able to have a second uh, DDA district over in San Susi on the island. Um, 
they're uh, probably going to uh, vote on it next week, the following week, and uh, then after that it goes to the House. And um, with a little bit of luck, they are saying that it would probably clear our way some, you know, towards the end of this summer. So at that point, then we have to start work on and defining it and establishing the DDA. So that usually takes about four to six months uh, once that's done. So hopefully, you know, uh, this winter or something, we'll have a be able to, to uh, uh, start a DDA over in San Susi area. Um, but it, it went very well, actually. It's <clears throat> at the uh, MTA conference the week before up in Traverse City, the Michigan Township Association. It was, it was a good conference, as always. Um, I did uh, ha have initial conversations with uh, DTE, who was interested in partnering uh, with us for the LG uh, water treatment plant over on the island. Mm -hmm. I, I do have an informal meeting with them Friday up in Port Huron, so... Uh, hopefully then we can start setting some granular meetings up. <clears throat> we'll be going out for a uh, bid soon for the um, mobile stage and outdoor exercise equipment and other park upgrades. Um, <clears throat> as you recall, we're, we're receiving $125,000 um, for the stage and $176,000 for the outdoor exercise equipment and other park upgrades from the county from their ARPA funds. And uh, hopefully I can get those bid documents ready to go here in the next week or two to get them out, out, out for bid. Um, but we know we got to do that under the Build Back Better requirements, and it, it's a chore. So finalizing the bid documents for our water main replacement project, uh, we did receive the permit from MDOT, so uh, it's just a matter of uh, putting that book together and having it come before us and prove it and go out to bid. <clears throat> starting to work on our, uh, our start, our started, and we're working on the union negotiations with our fire union, MAFF. Um, Working on several projects stemming from the ARPA Fund Workshop. And I'm in full budget mode trying to bang out our budgets for our following year, too. Cleanup weekend is May 18th on the mainland and the island. Then on Harsons Island is May 19th also. Extra day over there. Um, the... Inc. or um, St. John's Marsh cleanup is May 11th, starting at 9 a.m. And uh, then also May 11th is our Clay Day celebration along with the uh, American Indian Pow Wow. And the dancing starts at noon. I know the vendors, we're going to, hopefully, they're saying we're going to have a lot of uh, um, Indian vendors there, and they're going to start uh, their selling at 10 a.m. Um, and then uh, San Susi Block Party, May 18th, um, starts at 5 p.m. downtown San Susi, where we have three bands on two different stages. It'll probably go from 5 to 11.30-ish that evening, so... That's my uh, supervisor's report. All right, where are we? Moving along. Uh, public comments, please. Any public comments? Christine Holcomb, 1202 Gore Drive, Harsons Island. Um, here on behalf of SS Downtown Inc. Just wanted to let you all know that we do have plans for a road rally on the island on June 8th. Um, gonna begin at approximately 9, 9.20 at the San Susi Bar. Um, there will be an option for people to also have breakfast that day at the bar before going out. Um, <clears throat> excuse me, a breakfast buffet bar. 
Um, we've talked with Chief Koch and Chief Rose that we're planning this for safety on the roads and that all the vehicles that will be participating are required to be street legal and it's not a timed event so there shouldn't be any racing <laughs> to get it done but I have some flyers I'd like to give each of you and then we'd ask if you would allow us to place some flyers on the table or yeah, possibly say, put it can, on your website can you maybe? send it digitally to us yeah we can do that and uh, we can put it out okay appreciate that thank you mm -hmm. Thanks, Chris. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah. Road rally. You're next. I'm next. <laughs> Cindy Palato on behalf of SSD Downtown Inc. as well. And um, I am actually, thank you, Artie. We had an opportunity to meet with Artie last week, and I think um, all of the board was copied on a recap of that meeting with respect to the San Susi sign that um, we are all working together on. Um, we just wanted to confirm at, that our commitment to the township uh, is 50% of the cost of the sign. And we're hoping to be able to have those funds in your hand probably sometime in late June, mid to late June. Um, also, we wanted, we were, I don't know if you've had an opportunity to even uh, discuss yet the, uh, our proposal to be, to work directly with Phillips in respect to tweaking the finalization of the design of the sign, then of course to it would then have come to you guys for the the final the final write off. And then I know it's you you know part of uh, what you guys are trying to accomplish is to get these get this um, taken care of before, and get these ARPA funds spent. Uh, so the sooner we can get a go ahead to work with Phillips and we you know Phillips is, can be notified we can certainly get this get this wrapped up pretty quickly so that we can get this sign ordered and then in respect to the uh, you know obviously originally you guys had um, budgeted for those ARPA, all those ARPA funds to go to this sign I think it was somewhere between 11 and twelve thousand dollars I don't have the exact figures but with us now contributing 50 percent of that um, that leaves some additional ARPA funds that uh, have to be allocated I'm assuming someplace so I'm hoping that you'll look at some place to potentially spend that on the island as well thank you okay, thank you is it possible, and, sorry, with the road rally, can they get a table or something at Clay Days to promote, maybe? Yeah, we, maybe. I say but maybe you it, could have a table. Let's, let's not do that here. Oh, okay. Well. Okay. Any other public comments? <clears throat> okay, hearing none. That's why I wanted a digital for that. Um, <clears throat> consent agenda, I will entertain a motion. Make a motion to approve the consent agenda with the minutes of April 15th, 2024, the notice of a soil removal public hearing on 5 2024 that we have to set later in this meeting. Reports, uh, board approved April payroll and communication. A thank you from the Council on Aging. Support. Okay, motion to support. I did want to mention I received a really nice thank you letter from the Elgnet Clay Historical Society. But it's on my desk, and I didn't get it in the packet, so that will be in <laughs> next in next uh, meeting's packet. Any other discussion? I was on the board member comments. I listened to the meeting. I noticed that Cindy mentioned to Judy that she didn't need to come back anymore on the opt out. So I thought maybe that's no, what be I said was that we weren't voting on it annually. It wasn't something that got voted on annually. I just wanted that added to the board comments. I don't do any of the board comments. Who does that? I don't list any of the board comments. Oh, okay, because you, you have in the past. Okay. Chris's, any more Chris's comments? PSA has got too long. <laughs> <laughs> That's true. That's true. And they're not going to slow down either. Hearing none, all in favor of the consent agenda, signify by saying aye. 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 Anyone opposed? I'm opposed. Okay. On the payroll. Motion carries. Uh, fire chief report. 
How are we doing, George? Good evening. Uh, Fire Chief's report for April 2024. During the month of April, I attended two meetings, uh, the uh, St. Clair Flats Homeowners Association on Hurston's Island and the uh, St. Clair County Chiefs Association. General business was discussed. Uh, during the month, uh, Firecat came and tested all our hose and our ladders, so everything t uh, tested out great. Uh, we only lost two sections of hose due to age, so uh, we'll get those replaced. Fireboat 1 was placed into service for water calls and outer island responses and uh, ready to go. Fireboat 2, uh, the tanks have been tested and lacking gas caps have been installed on them. We're just waiting for the graphics to be installed and hopefully within the next week or so we should have that done. Uh, I'm working on a port security grant. Had a meeting with them, uh, gave them information about our area and our demographics. Uh, hopefully we have a good chance of uh, uh, getting a, a grant for a new fireboat. Um, I also attended a uh, a um, Zoom meeting too, which kind of helped clear up some gray areas and get us some uh, some areas that we need to uh, get more information. And uh, hopefully that helps us out. Uh, next month is cleanup, May 18th. Uh, we take uh, oil-based paint. We don't take any latex paint. You can take and pop the lid, put kitty litter in it, let it solidify, and put it out for trash. All right, any questions for George? Mm -hmm. Hey, Chief, on the bills payable, um, the one that we approved, we have an invoice from West Shore Fire for Engine 2, a master stream repair. Yes. 1400 bucks. Yeah, that was... Uh, Can you elaborate on that? Hmm? Can you elaborate on that? Yeah, there was... Uh, the... Uh, uh, would not rotate <clears throat> in the uh, up or down, and they had to come out and repair it. So not a, not a warrantable item? No. Uh, truck's, what, two years old? And it would not be covered under warranty. Okay. All right, thank you. All right, under uh, new business, we have Resolution 2024-10, Charitable Gaming License for <laughs> SS Downtown, Inc. I think we're going to have to pass one of these for each of our service groups <laughs> that does fundraising. Uh, I'll entertain a motion. Board, I'll make a motion to approve Resolution 2024-10, the Charitable Gaming License for SS Downtown, Inc. Support. Support. Go ahead. Sorry. It's okay. Okay, we have motion and lots of support. Any discussion on that? Hearing none, roll call. Mark Bouchard? Yes. Artie Bryson? Yes. Christy Hiltonen? Yes. Chris O'Regan? Yes. Cindy Valentine? Yes. John DeBoyer? Yes. Maureen Borey? Yes. The motion passes. Thank you. Thank you, Marcus. <clears throat> Next, we have our um, set the public hearing for our soil removal permits. Oh, can do that at the car rally. For can May 20th, 2024, 6 p.m. I'll make a motion to set the public hearing for soil removal permits for May 20th, 2024 at 6 p.m. It's going to be on the Harrison's Island Lions, right? Yes. Support. Okay, we should show that. Motion and support. Any more discussion? Hearing mm -hmm. none, all in favor signify by saying aye. 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 Anyone opposed? Motion carries. Okay, next we have um, DPW water meter purchase. Lance. And they've gone up. Oh, boy. Yes, they have. How many total do we need? There's 854 needed in order to f do the existing one inch services. I think we can get a little better sweet spot if we. Pump the qual. I, I know you. I tried. Beat them up. I tried. They won't go any lower than 405 each. Okay. Lance, can, do you know when? Uh, when you say they started at 291 dollars and 60 cents, approximately, can you put a time period on that? 
And That's when we first started the project back in 2020. About four years ago? Yeah. yeah. Four years. So in four years, they've jumped that much. Yes. Have you bought any one-inch meters within the last two years? plants? Uh, yes, they were three, 383, I think it was. 383. So 50% in four years. Yeah. That's a lot. I'm kind of <coughs> confused. So a total of 854 are needed. It doesn't include the water main project on Point Tremble. So does that 854 minus the 400, does that include the Point Tremble, or is there no, even more? No, Point Tremble is going to be an existing to 183 meters. So it'll be 854 plus another 283? Correct. Gotcha. And those will all be one inch? Yes. Uh, on the, in the new project? Yes. Just trying to do it a little bit at a time, so getting 400 now, 450 later, and then 283, is that what you're thinking? We can do more. It's oh. just... I just wondered if there was a, you know... That's what we're kind of thinking. If they keep yeah. going up, you know, I don't know. It's going up more than inflation. Well, the problem sure. is they're increasing pretty quickly. Yes, yeah, yeah. Well, and it's I, averaging 12.5% a year, right? Yeah. I tried to get a knockdown time on when these would come in yes and he's telling me november oh. wow so it could probably be put into next year's budget it will be i would say that we should probably order what we need if we know that i mean even just the 30 meters or the 400 meters saving 30 dollars is thirteen thousand dollars so yep <clears throat> i mean we're so talking we quite a bit of money there just to make sure i mean it's we know we're going to use them we need 1137 when i do the math so that's another 737 not just 400 correct is there any more any, that's it well just existing any new services that we put in at that point right. in time but that takes care of the yeah, new I did 1150 <laughs> what'd you say it's on the riverfront how many 283 You think if we order 1150, they might give us a break? No, they were not. I mean, I tried. over a thousand versus 800. Well, I I put it in, right in the letter. You can see. I says, Mark, what if I, you know, if I buy 100 or 300 or 500 or 700 or a thousand, is it the same price? Yep. He only gave you the break after three, so correct. I mean, and there's no one else to get a bid from. No, Camp Strip's the only. They're just one business, and there's only one distributor that has them. <laughs> You don't think you can beat them up anymore, huh? I'll try. If, if we were to order a larger quantity? I, like I say, you know, you see the email that I gave them. Yeah, but it might not hurt to give them a call and talk to them. I can do it again. Well, one to 300 is 435, and 300 up is 405. Maybe there's another uh, price break. Price break there. Oh, yeah. We go up another. Board, what if, we, uh, what if we gave them a blanket approval not to exceed amount? To cover exactly what we think yep. right so now that he needs up to, not to exceed not to exceed amount, and then we let him go back to the bargaining table, and if he's successful, yep. well then great, that's more money in the, in yeah, the water like fund. But if he's not successful, then at least he has the purchasing power to pull the. Do you want to do eleven thirty seven? But that doesn't cover new services. Do you want to do eleven fifty? I was eleven fifty. What, I'm confused. Is it four oh thirty five or is it four oh five? Because it's four oh five. Three hundred and up is four oh five. Oh okay. Oh three hundred up. I didn't see that on the email. Okay. I mean when they give you a break after three hundred, you would think after six hundred, seven hundred, or eight hundred, they'd yeah. give you another break of some sort. And you could say maybe say something like we only have so many ARPA funds. I don't know if ARPA funds qualify. But no, not like for give this. them that kind of thing. But, no? I mean so I know there's a warranty, Lance, on these meters. If you were to purchase and they sat on the sh when does the warranty begin? Does it begin once it's put in service, or is it from the date of purchase? I think it's date of purchase. Okay. And if you ordered these said 1,150 meters, do you think you would get a single shipment? Or would they have to... <laughs> Manufacture and perhaps stage deliveries. He was talking about possibly having some in stock again. Like I, I called him again today and I says, hey, I kind of need this for the meeting tonight. 
and he never called me back. I'd like to know if they have any in stock. They're supposed to be shipping all this stuff from Denmark, and they're supposed to have a spot here in the States down in Georgia where they're going to keep it and then distribute it from there. But I don't know if they've been getting good shipments or not. Nobody will answer my questions. Couldn't you ask if well, we can do it on a subscription? That's the other issues that come from Denmark. They, every 30 That's days, we get something in at that time, do we be able to keep up on the warranty on a subscription? You know, so if we get, you know, an initial 300, then a month later we get, you know, 50 or 100 or whatever, whatever you need at that point in time. What I'd like to do is I'd like to actually start on Harsons Island in the backcountry here and start hitting all the one-inch services. I've got 37 one-inch left. Problem being, I've got a couple of services hanging, and we've got some repairs we got to do on the other ones. But I will eat those 37 up in no time. So at the rate that you're putting them in now, how long would it take you to, to install all 800 of those? Probably a month and a half. 800 meters in a month and a half? Oh, wow. Because well, we're going to do it on regular time, too. Control. We're not doing it just after hours. Okay. Hmm. I had two teams going out. I guess, I guess we're doing warranty it. isn't an issue. Yeah, <laughs> that is not, right? <laughs> yeah. Well, it's 465750 yep. for 1150 of them at 405 If you could get them down to four hundred twenty-five grand, then they cost us three seventy dollars piece instead of four oh five. I'll give it my best shot. Maybe try that, you know. <clears throat> so that's what I was thinking, too. If, Ten percent. You know. If we did uh, not to exceed. Yeah. Not to exceed 466000 Someone want to make a motion? What was the number? Can we just check that math before you make the motion? I got four sixty-five seven fifty for 1150 of them. I told you got the same... Yeah, so I set I upped it to four hundred sixty six thousand. And eleven fifty? Eleven fifty. Times eight fifty four. Times four oh five, because we need um not eight fifty four, eleven fifty is the amount of them. Four sixty five, seven fifty. So Jan. Yeah, four sixty five, seven fifty, so it says four hundred sixty four now, right? It's eight hundred and fifty four, but he needs another two hundred and eighty three. So he really needs eleven thirty seven already upped it to eleven. So that's what I'm getting at. I'm reverse mathing this, so it's leaving him thirteen extra ones. Yeah. How many new services annually are we averaging right now? Could you could you wager a guess at that? I think we put like 23 in last year. And you're doing all one inch now, right? Yeah. Yeah, and everything's one inch more? now. Mm -hmm. Yeah, he could. I mean, he might have a seven month lead time on this thing. Yeah, I know. And it's the other thing I'm do, doing that. too now, so mind you, the, you, the 283 for the riverfront that we bought three quarter four, I'm going to, I'm selling them back. Yes. But so I now, haven't seen an amount of money yet. I told them at least what we paid for them, but I'm trying to make some money on that too. Do you have room for 1,200 meters? Yes. <clears throat> so now, why do we have to change out every one of these one inch? What's the reason to having to change them all out? Get new services. Because these are all the new radio read ones. We don't go out and read meters anymore. It actually but, broadcasts the radio. The antennas pick it up, and it comes to the computer at the shop. Meter uh, changeout program was approved mm -hmm. about four years ago. Yeah. And then, but we've still been having to go out and read it because certain sections they're all out there. Ones we'll that we don't haven't changed out yet. Correct. So who goes out and reads them if we don't read them? We do. Oh, yeah. right. But you're trying to avoid that. Correct. And it's real time data, right? So if somebody were to spring a tremendous leak, like you know about it. Yes. Or yes. have the ability. 24-hour period, it blows a flag up. Yeah. Jerry it's checks cool. it every morning, and we call the homeowner. It's already that's, saved a lot. That's the benefit. That's, that's huge. Yes. So how many have been changed out to this point? Like, I'm just curious. We're right around... I want to say 2,400, I think. I think I think it's in the 3,000s. Is it 3,000 now? I, Rob's been doing it daily, so. Two-thirds mm -hmm. or more. Two-thirds to three-quarters done. We've got just under 5,000 services to do, so. All right, well, we, we need a logical quantity purchase. 1,200. 1,200, I think. 1,200? All right, with that. Which is... <clears throat> Uh, 405, that's 486. Yep, not yeah. to exceed, right? 
Yeah, that's what I got. Long math, the old fashioned way. Does somebody want to make a motion? I'll make a motion to approve the water department um, to purchase water meters for an amount not to exceed 486,000. Contingent on Lance following up, uh, trying to beat him up for a better price at that quantity. You, you, got 1, got, you have 1,200 as the quantity too, right? Uh, 1,200 meters if that's what yep. comes out to you. Yeah. Yes. Support. Okay, we have a motion we're gonna purchase 1,200 meters with, for a price not to exceed uh, $486,000. And it will probably, it will definitely be in next year's budget. I was just gonna say, is the money there for it? We got the money for yeah. it? Yeah. And verify the lead time. Yep. Okay. Yeah, Everyone? I'd go for 10% off. Everybody Doesn't understand like the motion? I can go more yep. than that. We'll see. I do. Yep. Okay. Uh, roll call, please. Artie Bryson. Yes. Christy Hilton. Yes. Crystal Regan. Yes. Cindy Valentine. Yes. John DeBoer. Yes. Maureen Borey. Yes. Mark Bouchard. Yes. All right. Next, we have DPW uh, copper press tool for thirty-two hundred and fifty-seven dollars, coming out of the line item seven forty-four from both water and sewer funds. Can you explain to us, Chris, uh, everyone, what, what this tool is used for? What it's used for is putting copper pipe together and doing any plumbing without having a torch, solder, or anything. It's a crimp style fitting that has a little o-ring on the inside of it. So when I go into a residence, I don't have to worry about catching anything on fire. That's a good thing. Having any leaks. Yeah. I've seen them use. Yeah, it, it, it's it's a real nice unit. It really is. Did did you pick the one with because of the lowest uh, price, or did you uh, think that's the best one to get? Uh, actually, that's Milwaukee same. makes about the best one out there. I talked to a couple local plumbers too that have them, mm -hmm. and they kind of recommended the Milwaukee. So you only priced the Milwaukee. You didn't price any other brand. No. Correct. Well, it looks like you got two Milwaukees in there. Well, well the supply house is a Milwaukee too. There's three quotes. Okay. Oh, Milwaukee's, the same thing. And right. Milwaukee is the only other one mm -hmm. that actually goes bigger than two inch. I can buy jaws to go to four inch. Do you need <clears> anything <throat> bigger than two inch? No, not not that I've seen so far, but it is available. I can go three inch and I can go four inch. You think we should try any other brands or I mean just trying Milwaukee? I'm just going by Recommendation? Local plumbers. I mean, they they use them on a daily basis. That's the only reason I'm saying that. Board, I'd like to make a motion to authorize the purchase of a copper press tool kit in the amount of $3,257.10 plus $33 for shipping. Be paid out of line item number 590 744 and 591 744. Support. Yeah, motion and support. Any more discussion? How often do you use it? Pretty. Quite often. And it's going to be. Yeah, it's going to be. We've been doing it now with solder, so it takes it takes quite a while. And if the pipe's got any water in it, you got to get the pipe dry it don't first. Work. Yeah. This unit, one reason uh, Clint Vilwalk is a plumber on the island, and he actually went up into Cotterville. They had a leak, and they couldn't solder it, couldn't do anything to it. He was able to open the valve <coughs> up, <coughs> put it on press it, close the valve, and it solved the problem. So even the valve wouldn't work, he was able to make it work. So that's one nice part about having a press as compared to soldering it. You don't have to take the water out of the line. You don't have to take the water out of it. Kind of pricey, but if you're going to use it weekly, it's going to get... Mm -hmm. All right. Okay. Lance, you guys have other Milwaukee stuff down there too, don't you? Yes. Yeah, 18 volts, same, same battery, everything. i got a Sawzall. I, we've got drill drivers, all that. So you could use this in meter pits too, correct? Yes, sir. So you're going to use it a lot. Mm -hmm. Okay. Guys, and I, I don't mean to be forward and push this through. But Milwaukee's like the the pros tool. Yep. Okay. It's just it's just a given. It's it's what plumbers go to. It's it's one of their faves. It's not the cheapest, but it's probably the best. Milwaukee also makes most of your snap-on tools. Yeah. Entertain a motion? We do have motion and support. Oh, we do? Yep. Okay. Uh, 
That being it. said, uh, for uh, to purchase the copper press tool, Milwaukee, $3,257. Uh, all in favor? All in favor, signify by saying aye. 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 Anyone opposed? Motion carries. Okay, next we uh, amended, I uh, got actually received this today, and it so happens I had someone down there call me about it today, too. Uh, this is a work order for the uh, St. Clair County Road to do uh, design and permitting for the culvert replacement on Bayview Shores, and it's uh, $6,000 total. Um, I actually requested for them to, to, to work this up because um, once they get the permit from Eagle, is they can give us a, a better estimate of how much the price would be to replace that. Um, There's no match money on culverts, are there? No. Well, there, there, there could be. I mean, they may let us use our road match for this. They may. I don't know. Um, depending on how much it is. I'll tell you, if Eagle would allow us to put two tubes, large tubes in, versus, you know, um, it would save us a whole lot of money. I don't know if uh, they would be willing to do that or not. I, I think that's the direction they're going to try to go with. Which um, direction? Two tubes? What's that? Two, two tubes? Yeah. yeah. Um, as you recall, the other one that did go it was kind of an emergency fix. We, we patched it together with one lane. Uh, it was during the high water and um, um, same road was at 150, not even 100 yards apart. So it's a given that this one's not in too good a shape. So I've been kind of nervous about it. And I sure hate to have that go and then have to wait for an eagle permit and everything else to get approved to, to, uh, <clears throat> to, to fix it. And this is the only way on and off for those people down that those couple roads. I agree with you. So, and this yeah. is this is a match six thousand. We pay the six, and they pay six, or is we no. pay three thousand. We pay no, it's six thousand. And pay. they pay six. So really, it's going to be twelve thousand for the survey design and permitting. Is that no. right? Am I understanding that right? No, no. no. no we 000. pay. We pay for it. Oh, there's no match on. There's no, no match. I heard you say match it. Yep. For the actual project, we're hoping maybe they would let us use some match money for roads, Got it. but okay. we won't know until we see what the cost is. Yep. So I'll make a motion to approve the St. Clair County Road Commission work order uh, for Bayview Shores Drive Road Culvert in the amount of six thousand dollars. Support. Okay, motion support. Any more discussion? Roll call, please. Christy Hilton. Yes. Chris O'Regan? Yes. Cindy Valentine, yes. John DeBoyer? Yes. Maureen Borey? Yes. Mark Bouchard? Yes. Artie Bryson? Yes. Okay, motion passes. All right, next we have board member comments. Cindy, what do you have for us? Um, I don't believe at this time I have anything. Thank you. Okay. If it's over. <coughs> Mark? Uh, Planning Commission is on the 22nd, I believe. I do not have an agenda yet, but... Uh, that's forthcoming. Uh, a few other items that came from the Planning Commission to the board are now going back to the Planning Commission, <laughs> and I'll uh, con uh, convey with that with uh, Kathy later on. Uh, see what we can do with that. And I also talked to Artie today about some draining issues uh, on the side roads, uh, ditching, and so on and so forth. So hopefully, you'll have uh, St. Clair County take a look at those and see what we can do. Thank you. Okay, Maureen. Looking forward to seeing everybody at Clay Days. Yeah. They said maybe we can get you a table. So, John? Oh, I don't have anything to know. Chris? Yeah, can we uh, hit the, the dates real quick again? We, get, we got the marsh cleanup this marsh? Saturday, right? Yep. Uh, May 11th, and that starts at 9 a.m. Can we just meet down at the DNR launch? Yeah, this side, yes. Yep. And then kind of gather and yep. take assignments from there, right? Exactly. And then the following weekend, we have both the mainland and Harsons Island cleanup. Cleanup. That starts on Saturdays. Saturday. Elgmax doing theirs also on Saturday. And so where's our, our mainland 
um, hub is behind the wire to pop, yeah. And our main la- or Harsons Island hub is Brownsfield. Brownsfield, and then Brownsfield goes for two days. It's Saturday days. and Sunday, right? Yep, eight to four. Okay, and then we've got um, Clay Days. Yep, May eleventh starts at noon. We've got the road rally coming up. The road rally. We got June the 8th. San Jose Block Party. The block Party is May eighteenth. Oh, there's a lot of dates to keep track. Starts Dancing at in five. The Dancing in the street. Awesome. I just wanted a quick recap. We'll be dancing in the streets. Mother's Day's coming. Forget that. Yeah, Mother's Day. Don't forget your Mother's Day. <laughs> yeah, I think they're going to be selling Before flowers <laughs> out here, right? The wrestling. Yes. Okay, I'm sorry. You're, You're probably, stealing uh, our thunder? <laughs> sorry. <laughs> <laughs> All right. And then to wrap it up, um, most of the tree budding is done, right? So that means everybody's gutters is full of crap. Like it's full. Like it usually it's falling over unless you've got gutter guards. Yep. So now's a great time to clean them out and you'll be done until fall. So it's a lousy job. You know, don't endanger yourself. Hire a kid if you can. But get them cleaned out right now and you'll be done for like the next three, four months. Done. And your house is good and dry. That's all I got. <laughs> okay, clean your gutters. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Chrissy. Elginac Wrestling will be having their annual Mother's Day fundraiser flower sale. Uh, they're actually doing three locations this year. So it will be Saturday at Clay Days in front of the township office. It will be Friday and Saturday um, at Dollar General in Ira, and also um, 26 and County Line uh, in that little strip mall area. They're going to add that location this year. So if you need flowers and you want to support the local wrestling team, buy your flowers from them. All right. I've done them before. They're, they're nice flowers. They're nice. Left a long time. Mm-hmm. And it is a fundraiser. Yep. It's a fundraiser. Flowers are a little bit more expensive, but you're supporting the wrestlers. That's right. And they are beautiful flowers. I wanted to mention to uh, everybody, last couple, three years, I was able to get trees to give away. And we did. I'm not sure if I... I I've been requesting them. I, I don't have them yet, but I'm hoping to. Uh, we used to get uh, white oak, red oak, maple. We usually uh, got those at the end of April, so I'm going to say maybe they're not doing it this yeah, year. Yeah, I'm not sure. Have you heard, Lance? I haven't heard. I need McCollum's. Yeah, I, I sent them a couple texts and everything. Who are those through, Artie? Um, cargo, cargo, the salt, oh. salt company. And... Uh, I think last year we had about 500 trees. And we we get rid of most of them, and they're nice. They're nice trees. Celebration of Arbor Day usually. So right? how, how long? Did you say they were? Huh? How big did you say they were? Uh, oh, they're three footers. Yeah, three footers or so. Oh. I know we one year or a couple of years they've been budding in Lance's office. <laughs> they're like they liked it in there. I also wanted to mention too. Um, this past week, we did the. Um, I'm part of the Elgnac Clay um, Community Foundation, and we did our Cinco uh, party. Uh, it's our the only do one fundraiser a year for this group, and uh, we were able to give away thirty thousand dollars in grants and scholarships. That's nice. awesome. And everything we raise in this is it, huge, but the, it, I, I love talking about this. Every, everything. We give away, we, we, we put it in a fund, everything we raise, we put it in a, a fund, and we only give the interest away. So everything we raised, you know, that night, we'll, we'll add to next year, five years, ten years, a hundred years from now to help our community. This group, we started in 2004. Uh, since then, we've delivered 220000 over $220,000 in scholarships since 2004, and $134,000 in grants to local groups since 2000. I just want to mention that. A lot of people don't realize it, and uh, we're kind of behind the scenes working, but uh, Elgnet Clay Community Foundation, and it all stays local. So I just want to give kudos out to everyone that contributes, and, and hey, it was a good party to boot, so... Called Algonac Clay Community Foundation? Yep. So that's all I have. So I'll entertain another motion. Motion to adjourn.
work. Okay, all in favor, aye. Right. Right. Thank you right. for coming, everybody.